Welcome to the Coral Gables Museum, a beautiful coral stone building dedicated to the civic arts and permanent home of the iconic Creating the Dream exhibition. In this permanent presentation, visitors will learn how the magnificent city of Coral Gables came to be and how it all started with the dream of one man. As you look around, you're seeing one of the special exhibitions this museum has on display, Cuban art from the 20th century. This is a unique exhibition because it presents works of several Cuban artists dating back to the 1870s when Cuba was a Spanish colony to the post-revolutionary works of Cuban artists living in the U.S. Check out Plan Z. This exposition presents a design concept to transform the Rickenbacker Causeway into an urban park. Architect and urban planner Bernard Siskovich wants to make the roadway safe for pedestrians and cyclists by developing this infrastructure into a safe and lively multi-purpose 20-acre urban park. Just a few miles away from the Coral Gables Museum, the Low is a hidden gem nestled in the heart of University of Miami. This sculpture you see here, Circles and Waves, is a clear representation of the outstanding work found inside. The Low Art Museum is the largest collecting art museum in the South Florida region. Anything from contemporary paintings to gorgeous glass sculptures, the Low has several permanent and special exhibitions worth seeing such as this one. Showcased inside of the Myrna and Sheldon Pally Pavilion, this 4,000 square feet gallery of contemporary glass masterpieces is a must see. This stunning collection is valued at over $3.5 million. Take a look around at this exceptional exhibition currently on display. Dandelion Rearticulating Black Masculine Identity is the first comprehensive exhibition of its kind. It seeks to distinguish the historical and contemporary expressions of young men in city landscapes, defying stereotypical and monolithic understandings of black masculinity. A step into Vizcaya Museum and Gardens. Formerly known as Villa Vizcaya, this property is a national historic landmark that was built as a winter state for the Chicago businessman James Deering. The design influence of this home is mainly pulled from Europe and adapted into a subtropical setting. The house also contains a lot of antique artwork and open air rooms as you can see here in this Asian inspired breakfast area. This room is part of the main house which took about 8 years to finish building it. When the villa was completed in 1922, an extensive and elaborate construction of the Italian Renaissance gardens took place. But these beautiful gardens around you weren't completed until 1923. These are truly a sight to behold. Full of geometrical plantings and architectural structures, these gardens are hidden from urban Miami, tucked away between a native mangrove shore and forest. Deering decided to build his state along the Biscayne Bay, but wanted to preserve its environment so that you can have a new and beautiful perspective of Miami. 